June 5th, 1945. North Airfield, Tinian Island. A group of 45 B-29 bombers take off towards the Japanese mainland. Once airborne, the crew of the B-29 Sweet Sioux set course for the city of Kobe. Kobe was a big industrial city. The population is somewhere around 300,000. And we were aiming for the steel mill, which was in the south central part of the city. First Lieutenant Don Dwyer was a B-29 bombardier with the 9th Bomb Group in World War II. As the fleet of B-29s reach the city of Kobe, all eyes are on the Sweet Sioux. As the lead plane's bombardier, it's up to Dwyer to hit the target first. Dwyer peers through his bombsite and locks on to the steel mill. But as the B-29s prepare to drop, a swarm of Japanese fighters are waiting for them. Sweet Sue's gunners begin spraying the sky with bullets. They'll need to keep the fighters at bay until Dwyer can release the payload. Dwyer hits the switch and drops his 19-bomb payload. The other B-29s follow suit, hitting right on target. Everybody gave a sigh of relief that this was over with and let's get out of here. But as Dwyer looks up from his bomb site, there's a Japanese fighter headed right for them. We had a zero coming 12 o'clock. His intention probably was to ram us. Dwyer quickly grabs his gun sight and aims at the incoming fighter. I waited for his uh, wingtips to come into the circle and gave him one burst. His shots are right on the money. But the fighter gets one in of his own. He hit us with four 20 millimeter cannon shells. Two of them took out uh, two of the engines. With only two engines still running, they won't have enough power to make it back to Tinian. We knew we were gonna have to contact Iwo Jima and make a landing there. The newly captured island of Iwo Jima is the halfway point between Japan and the B-29's home base at Tinian. The Sweet Sioux comes in low and hits the runway hard. Once we got down and we realized that we were safe, we were overjoyed at that point. <laughs> With three confirmed and two probable kills, the crew of the Sweet Sioux has had one of the most successful run-ins against Japanese fighters in the war. 